this is the way how I started back testing. I know it seems a bit too much, but from here I get the real information I need when I do back test the strategy. Okay? So we are working with maths here and probabilities, right? If a system has worked in the past uh, 120 times of over 150 total, that's telling me that I have a 75% chances of that to happen back in the future. I'm working with chances and probabilities here. As higher the chances and the probabilities, the more reliable the system will come into time. And as much as I do back test that system in the past, as many much more studies I made of what happened in the past with a certain pair, in a certain time frame, with a certain cross of moving average, uh, indicator, or strategy, or whatever. Okay, more information I get will get. What I really want to know when I do a back testing is this. This is what I call my, my optimizer, right? The total of winning trades expressed in pips. I do believe that this means of no explanation. Okay? I want to know how many trades I win and express in pips. Okay? How many trades I lost expressed in pips. Okay? The same, the winnings and the losses expressed in, in money, right? In dollars, if my account is in dollars. Okay? I will also want to know the maximum consecutive losses expressed in dollars. How many losses I could have in a row expressed in money, okay? And I will also want to know the positive side of it, maximum consecutive winning expressed in money, okay? I want to know also, and this I believe is very important, okay, the percentage of winning trades against the losers. That will tell me if the system is profitable or not. Everything above 75% should be considered a profitable system, okay? I will also know when I get my information, okay, the average pips per trade that I can win and the average pips per trade that I can lose, okay? This will help me to set my stop loss, okay? That, that is the general idea of this, okay? And I want to know where is the no return point. The no return point is the maximum drawdown I can accept before the market ends to get me, the single trust to get me, and will also be needed to set the stop loss. Okay? That's the no return point. That's the information I want to know. I also want to know, okay, express in number, okay, the maximum number of losing trades in a row. Okay? What's that? As I always told you, a system could be great, okay, we could have an, I don't know, let's say an 82% of uh, profitable, okay, but in the middle I can have five losing trades in a row, okay, I know that, okay, so if I lose five times in a row with a system, okay, uh, I would be scared. It's in like my study. It's, it's what I'm expecting from the pair. I can stand that five trades in a row, losing trades, okay, because I know the system will give me an 82% by the end of the month, the year, or whatever, okay? But if I don't know this, and I start with the system, and I get this four losing trades in a row, I will simply discard the system uh, at the first time I tested, and forget about the trading system, okay? Anyway, uh, the idea is that, uh, in this particular case, I choose the euro, okay? Momentum, 20 simple moving average, my favorite trading strategy, okay? In a four hours time frame, okay? That's what I choose. So, what I tend to do, what I did in the past, I'm not doing this anymore, is to start saying which day and at which time, okay, the pair gave me a signal, if it was buying or selling one, where should I open my trade, where should I close it, okay, the maximum winning express in pips I get from that signal, okay, the maximum lose or drawdown the signal has, okay, and the final profit, uh, or lose I have from the trade, okay? I also tend to uh, note 
note in here how many candles the pair take to reach that maximum rule. Okay? Anyway, let's start with this one and I will show you what I'm trying to set in here, right? Let's take this for our chart. That's for our chart for the euro, okay? And here it is, right? And I do believe that I have an entry is, uh, I, the strategy says that I should enter the market. One, the price, okay, opens above, uh, the, the candle opens above the 20 simple moving average, sorry, this bearish one, and the indicator cuts the 100 line, right? That's a buying entry, okay, around here, right, 33.91, a losing trade, the first one, only 20 bits to the upside, and then we fall. So, what do I tend to note in my, uh, in, in my Excel sheet? Exactly that. I do today, April 27, okay, at 10 a.m. my time, okay, a buying signal, open at 133.90, okay, just an example, right? Okay, and um, close that where only 20 bits winning in the signal, really nasty, 134.77, uh, okay, as an example, if I close it there, right, that maximum profit again <laughs> from it okay here we are a trend before winning okay before winning not after right i'm not saying i will trade that but i will open this trade and close it in here i'm just registering the fact okay the maximum win is what 27 pips and the maximum drawdown in the middle was 28 okay uh i do tend to register the time the trade takes place because it will help me to filter if in any particular session, okay, the system is more accurate than in other sessions, okay? If it reaches all or reaches in here all the trades during all the day, uh, all day long, okay, you will probably find out that the, I don't know, maybe signals are more accurate during an European session and less accurate during Asian one to filter the session. Uh, I will find out that probably this system won't much more better in between the European and the American session than in the Asian one, right? Anyway, the general idea is to do this, okay, and take a look at the last 200, yes, 200 times the pair did in the past accomplish the system new, the conditions required for the system. I could have in the middle a 140, a 55, a 35, I don't know, whatever numbers you like to place in here, you will know, this, okay? This will help me to uh, filter my take profit, okay? Uh, if I'm going to make an average of the pips the system gives me, I will take off this reading, okay? This 140 readings that are Really high compared to the average of movement would probably mean, I don't know, a fundamental new, uh, some weird data that hit the market, whatever, a rate hike, whatever. I should take this 140 outside of my average, okay? When I take a look at this strategy, okay, at this particular column, I will find out that if I left us aside a couple of trades, Okay, I could average at least the minimum I, I could take from this trade is 25 bitcoins. Okay, so I know that if I set my check profit to 25, I will probably succeed most of the time. Right? I will find out in here where should I place my stop loss, and I will find out the non return point. Once I have this, I will find out that. Average, if I set my stop loss, let's say, to charge 35 pips, most of my winnings will be positive because it tends to move back 10, 28, whatever, okay? 35, let's say, will be my non-return point. If the pair lose more than 35 pips, I see chances of 70 and 200. So, uh, with this information, when I get all this information, I will be able, able to complete this one, okay, and then I will be able to trade with this system, knowing what I'm doing in the market.